What's going on guys? I have a brand new video for you today. Going to be talking about my MLG class setups on Black Ops 3. And now we're going to start off with the Vesper. The Vesper, in my opinion, is the best gun. I don't care what anybody says. It is the freaking best gun. And now a lot of people asking me what attachments do you use. I use Quick Draw, Grip, and Extended Mags. It's probably the best three in the combination. You shouldn't use... Th these are the three you want to use on the Vesper. Like this, you'll be like, holy shit, this gun is good as fuck if you use these three. Now for my uh, lethals, I only have a frag. I don't use a stun because in my opinion... Almost everyone runs tag mask, and not many people run flag jacket because a lot of people use this combination, like I do, blast suppressor and tag mask. And a huge reason I do this because blast suppressor is pretty important. I think you don't want people knowing boosting at, at all times. It's just kind of stupid. So I use tag mask and blast suppressor. Fast hands is kind of a it's, it's pretty necessary. You know, aim faster after sprinting, and and then obviously perk one. The good perks are flag jacket and overclock, but I traded off a stun and a perk one for having two of these. Now for my second class, I have a Pharaoh with Quick Draw Grip and Stock. Now why do I use Stock? Well, first of all, people are most likely going to be banning the Rapid Fire just because it's like, it's not really that competitive. I understand all these things. Rapid Fire on Pharaoh is actually pretty sweet. And then Long Barrel, I don't think it's like that necessary. When you use Stock on the subs, I don't know if you guys play the beta, but the Razorback Stock, you you Stock so fast. It's like you're using a Black Ops 2 AR Stock. So I tried it out the sub and it's actually really fast, it's really effective. The Pharaoh with stock is like a mini AR, so it's pretty cool. Now in this class, I just run Blast Suppressor, Fast Hands, and Flag Jacket, and then a stun and a nade. Of course, I don't want to have two of the same classes. So in this class, I have a stun and flag jacket to change it up a little bit if I think I want to take out this class, stun more, or something like that. Now for my third class, I use the Shiva, which is a really good gun in this game. Make sure you position yourself well. If you don't, then you're going to be screwed. I like the ELO better than the Red Dot. I don't know why. I just started using it. It's it's more crisp. It's more clean. Has the has the dot. There's no like outline or anything, so it looks really good. Then I have Quick Draw. Obviously, I like Quick Draw to aim quick. And then High Caliber. This gun with High Caliber is a one-shot kill to the head. I prefer these things. I don't like rapid fire too much because the rapid, you can see it doubles, right? But the doubles is two bars more. It's not like it increases by a lot. I with rapid fire, you can obviously see it, the difference, but it's not that big of a difference. So in my opinion, it's not that useful. Stock is all right, but I don't know. I've just been using these three. It's been working out pretty well. I have the RK5, which is a really, 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 really good pistol. It can one burst sometimes, and if not, it will just two burst somebody, and it's really strong. Honestly, like it. I have a frag grenade. Trophies on AR is almost a must. Trophies are so good in this game, in my opinion. You know, every if you're running an AR, you should have a trophy. At least someone has to be running trophies. And then I have overclock because I have a trophy, so I don't really need flag jacket. I have overclock to get my specialist faster. This is a pretty cool uh, perk. I don't know if many pros use it. I think they use flag jacket or they don't use the first perk at all. Uh, in my opinion, overclock is pretty cool. Like I said, you know, you get to get your specialist faster. I have a war machine. I usually use it. So I get my war machine faster and I can break a hill with it or something. So it's pretty important. And then I use the blast suppressor. On all my ARs, I use blast suppressor. I don't feel like tag masks as much since I'm going to be far, you know, keeping my position. So it's not that important. Now for my fourth class, the XR2. Look at this bad boy. The XR2 is so good in this game. In my opinion, it's probably the second best AR. You know, if not, maybe the best. I don't know. But XR2 is definitely one of the best ARs that's up there. I got the ELO site, like I said, I love using it. I got a quick draw and grip. These are my three favorite attachments to use on this gun. Some people like to use long barrel, some people like to use uh, high caliber. All those things are nice on this gun. I'm just keeping it plain and simple. I do good with it. I don't know, I might experiment, experiment with some other stuff later, but for now, these are the three good ones in my opinion. I don't like using a fourth one because it's not really necessary and I get to use other stuff. For example, an RK5 on this as well. RK5 is good as fuck, like I said. A lot of people, I see pros use the RK5 <laughs> like half the game rather than using their main gun because that's how good it is. And then I have you obviously a frag and a trophy and then flag jacket on this class. Now this class, I changed it up because, I don't know, I feel like since I'm going to be running gun with more with the XR2, because the Shiva is more like a post-up gun. XR2 is more like a running gun, so like I have a flight jacket in here, and then blast suppressor, fast hands. Like I said, I always use blast suppressor on my ARs. Now for my last class, I have another Vesper, nicknamed my baby, and obviously the same attachments: quick draw, grip, and extended mags. Now this class is going to be a little different. I'll explain real quick. I have a Semtex grenade, I have blast suppressor, and then I have fast hands and cold blooded. Now I know I don't have much in here in this class, and the huge reason is because I put cold blooded. Cold blooded blocks uh, sentries. Sentries are really good in this game and sometimes people just spam trophies you can EMP it You're not in a position to EMP it. So what do you do? You pull out cold-blooded completely counters it now Obviously you're sacrificing, you know using other stuff for your class, but it's way more important You know putting out cold-blooded like I could even do this 
I could even put an EMP instead and like cold blood and get close to the trophy and EMP or some shit like that. It's a really good strategy. You know, when somebody pulls out a sentry, like in your mind, you're screwed because you try to destroy it. Like, it's so hard sometimes to destroy a sentry. Trust me, guys. It's not that simple. So the best strat is just pull out cold blooded and work your way from there. So this has been my MLG class setup. This is what I've been using recently. And for S&D, on most of my uh, classes, all I do is just add uh, dead silence because I feel like you need blast suppressor. So I just double perk. I put Death Silence and Blast Suppressor. And that's pretty much it. I keep everything else the same. But for now, guys, this has been my class setup. This is what I've been using. And it's been working. I've been dominating. I've been playing really well. And I'm planning on doing like some other class setups a little bit further in the game. Like uh, maybe a respawn class setup separate and then an SD class setup. But for now, this is going to be my main MLG class setup. Just showing you guys my classes. A lot of you guys ask, show me your classes. What do you have on your guns? This, that, that. So I explained everything here. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video and the tips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy. And I'm out. Peace!